Well, it was Christmas in May for two Starbucks employees inside this Starbucks behind me in Mandarin, finding out earlier this afternoon that they had voted to unionize a 10 to 7 vote in favor of unionizing this store. That means that employees at this store will be able to bargain with Starbucks corporate for higher wages and better benefits. The two locations are the first in Jacksonville's in the Jacksonville area to vote to unionize a Starbucks in Tallahassee that last week became the first in Florida to unionize. Mason Boykin and Hannah Crable are those two employees. They started, they've been working at Starbucks for three years. The two started the movement to unionize this Starbucks. They believe employees deserve to be paid more and receive better health benefits. You know, we've been told for months now it's not going to happen or, or from Starbucks, like, their, their insane union busting is just, it's, it's been really incredible and really harsh. And so to be able to come out on top of that and say, you know what, regardless partners partners wanted this um it just feels so great and uh it's, it's a huge bag of emotion and since this movement started last year 50 starbucks locations have voted to unionize there's 200 plus more that are planning to vote now as for starbucks they oppose unionization at the local level they think it deserves to happen more at a regional basis and as for when the two sides will be able to meet at the table boykin says he's ready to meet whenever but of course you need two two sides to meet at the table in order to get anything done starbucks has yet to reach out to the store to the union on when those two sides will be able to meet up we're in mandarin andrew Badillo, first coast news on your side all right